Hello students, in this lecture we will see the congruence modulo n relation and we prove that this relation is an equivalence relation. Let us see the definition of congruence modulo n. Let n belongs to n, that is n is a natural number and take two integers a comma b belongs to z. Then we say that a is congruent to b modulo n. In notation it is denoted by a is congruent to b modulo n if and only if n divides a minus b or a minus b is divisible by n. Let us see some examples based on congruence modulo n. Take n is equal to 3 in the first example. So we know that 5 minus 2 is 3. So 3 divides 3. So 3 divides 5 minus 2. So this 5 is congruent to 2 modulo 3 since 3 divides. 9 minus 1 is 8. Clearly 4 divides 8. So this 9 is congruent to 1 modulo 4. Similarly, 1 minus 16 is minus 15 and 5 divides minus 15. So this 1 is congruent to this 16 modulo 5. 14 is congruent to sorry 10 minus 80 is minus 70 and 14 divides minus 70. Minus 70 can be written as a multiple of 14. So minus 70 equal to 14 into minus 5. So in this way we define congruence modulo n. Here we have taken congruence modulo 3, congruence modulo 4, congruence modulo 5, congruence modulo 14. But the fifth example 3 is not congruent to 2 modulo 4. Why 3 is not congruent to? Because, because since this 4 does not divide, does not divide 3 minus 2 that is 4 does not divides does not divides mm, 1 4 does not divides 1 but n 0 can be written as but 0 is equal to 0 into n however this n divides 0 why because 0 is equal to n into 0 this implies that n divides 0 and this 0 can be written as n divides a minus a for all a belongs to z ok so in this way we have defined this congruence modulo n it has many applications to solve many examples in number theory now we are going to prove that question show that congruence modulo n n is an equivalence relation is an equivalence relation on z solution we have to show that this relation congruence modulo n is an equivalence relation on z so we have to show that this relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So let R be a relation on Z defined by A is R related to B if and only if a is congruent to B modulo N. A is congruent to B modulo N. That is, if and only if, if and only if, N divides A minus B. Here, this N belongs to N. N is a natural number. So, first we have to check that. Now, this R is N. Now, this relation R is congruence modulo n relation. So we have to show that this relation R is reflexive. So let us check the reflexivity of this relation R. Reflexivity of R. Let A belongs to Z. Be any integer. We have to show that A is R related to A. So we have to show that A is congruent to A modulo n. That is we have to show that n divides A minus A. We have 0 is equal to n into 0. So this implies that n divides 0. Now we can write this 0 as 
n divides a minus a for all a belongs to z a minus a is again always zero so this implies that n divides a minus a means what a is congruent to a modulo n for all a belongs to z so a is congruent to a modulo n how this relation is defined a is congruent to b modulo n if and only if n divides a minus b or a is are related to b if and only if a is congruent to b modulo n we have a is congruent to a modulo n this implies that a is are related to a for all a belongs to z so this implies that r is reflective thus r is therefore r is r is reflective r is reflective let us check the symmetricity of this relation congruence modulo n let a comma b belongs to z b n a to integer suppose a is r related to b this implies that a is congruent to b modulo n this implies that n divides a minus b the n divides a minus b means what a minus b is a multiple of n so a minus b is equal to n into some k c sorry some k for some k belongs to z so this implies that b minus a multiplying both sides by minus is equal to n into minus k so minus k again belongs to z as k belongs to z so a minus b multiplied by minus 1 is b minus a so here n n minus k sorry n into k n into k b minus a is equal to n into minus k so now b minus a is a multiple of n this implies that n divides b minus a this implies that b is congruent to a modulo n by definition so here if n divides a minus b then a is congruent to b modulo n if n divides b minus a then b is congruent to a modulo n this implies that b is r related to a therefore we have whenever a is r related to b b is r related to a therefore this r is r is symmetric so let a comma b comma c belongs to z supports a is r related to b a is r related to b and b is r related to c this implies that n divides a minus b and n divides b minus c if n divides a minus b and n divides b minus c then we have n divides n must divide the sum of these two integers that is b minus c and a minus b so this implies that n divides a minus c this implies that a is congruent to c modulo n this implies that a is congruent to c modulo n means what a is r related to c thus we have whenever a is r related to b and b is r related to c we have a is r related to c therefore this re relation r is transient thus from 1 to and 3 thus r is an equivalence relation this r is nothing but congruence modulo n that is congruence modulo n congruence modulo n is an equivalence relation thank you students